basic properties of the charges. So the first thing is additive property of the charge. Then the second thing we will study about the conservation of charge. And the third thing we will study about the quantization of the charge. First, here, what is the additive property of the charge? See, it is just a simple thing like a max, like when there is a charge inside the object. It may be positive or it may be negative. Okay, when the charge is inside the object, the total charge of the body is equal to sum of each charges. That's it, the simple way. Don't make it more complicated, just make it simple. It's just like adding of each will give us the total charge. That is called as additive property of the charge. And that too, electrical charge have a scalar character. I hope you people know what does mean by scalar, what does mean by vector, right? So scalar, which is having only magnitude, vector, which is having magnitude as well as the direction. Here, when we are talking about the charge, we are speaking only whether it is positive or negative. We are not talking whether it is moving in the left direction or right direction, no, right? So here, additive property is also can come under only the scalar property, okay? And that too, just keep it in mind, charges are additive and it have the additive property. Additive property is nothing but the whole object's charge can be calculated by adding each charge values. That's it, okay? And when we are talking the additive property and then the conservation of charge and the quantization of charge, mostly in this lesson, we will speak more with the word point charge, okay? So before I didn't say the word point charge, I just mentioned charges. Right. But after this, we will use the word point charge. OK, so point charge means like usually I said in the first itself. Right. In this lesson, we are just going to deal with the charges when they are in the rest, when they are not moving. Right. So if I'm going to talk about the two charges, OK, they are at particular distance. OK, that time if their sizes are extremely small okay and they are comparing to their distance imagine if the charge value is only two micro coulomb this is one micro coulomb and they are separated for 10 meters okay got it now right so in these kind of situation we will mostly use the word point charge okay so when you are studying this lesson if you are getting the word point charge, just understand that the distance between them is very long and the charge value is very less, okay? They will not give the detail what is the values of the charges and how it was displayed. If it is point charge, it's understandable that it was a this, it was separated for a long distance, okay? So this is the first property of the electric charge, okay? The next one is conservation right conservation of charge of course we know what does it mean by conservation of energy conservation of mass conservation of momentum everything right so which means that overall charge within an isolated system remains constant so, right so i said already when we are touching some materials we will get electric shock when we are touching some material, we will not feel anything. Insulators and conductors, right? So what is happening here? See, I said already, uh, when you're touching something, if you're feeling shock, it means that there is more electrons, excess electron. If you're touching something and if you're not feeling anything, which means that there is equal electron and equal proton, right? So isolated system, is mostly like when we are not disturbing. Isolated means isolated. You are getting isolated, we are saying, right? Isolated is nothing but when we are not disturbing any system. Because here I said we can prepare the charges, we can produce the charges by rubbing, right? Here, when we are not doing anything to the body, that time the overall charges within the system is constant, 
right so i said already when we are taking the glass rod okay there will be plus minus when you are touching the glass rod you will feel shock if you no right so but when you are rubbing this glass rod with wool or silk after that if you are touching or else if you are bring the paper near to it it will get attracted which means that it have the electron or protons right so that disturbing if you are not disturbing the re charges remaining in the the charges in the body is constant okay if you are disturbing this will not applicable okay so it is only applicable for the system which is isolated okay keep this in mind and here we can say whenever we are like uh, isolating the system there is no change in their mass there is no change in their total charges also okay so it's just a conservation like how we are doing for the mass energy and then momentum okay now the next important property of the charges quantization property quantization is nothing but wherever the charge it should be the integral multiple of e that is called as quantization of charge see so if i want to calculate the charge of the body okay if there is a body if i want to calculate what is the charge so definitely it will be multiple of electron value i said already the value of the charge of electron value is 1.6 times 10 to the power negative 19 right so the charge of the whole body will be two times of this three times of this so it is just a integral multiple of e it should be it always okay that is called as a quantization of charge okay so these are all the important things you have to know apart from this i hope you people know uh, the si unit of the charge is coulomb right so i will show you some of the question yeah so the experimental demonstration for charge quantization yes so we will get this kind of questions for this part okay yes so the experimental demonstration of charge quantization was carried out by so it was carried out by millikan okay so when you are reading the book you will get it okay so i am just moving for the next question this is the basic question so charge quantization implies that so what we can say by using the charge quantization i said it should be the integral multiple right so if we are talking about the charge of the whole body it should be the integral multiple of electric charge like electron value right so it implies that the charge cannot be destroyed we didn't talk anything about like this right and charge exists on a particle no right so if it if we are talking about existing of particle if the charge is existing uh, existing if the charge is not existing it will go for the electrification process no so there is a minimum permissible charge on a particle no we are not talking about this also charge which is a fraction of coulomb is not possible yes so here we can say the charge in one in only of integral form not in the fractional values okay so this is the correct answer now i am moving for the next question yes this question so usually we will get this kind of questions in the numerical part a polythin piece rubbed with wool is found to have a negative charge of 3 times 10 to the power negative 7 coulomb okay so estimate the number of electrons okay so they give us the value see whenever you are solving the question in the physics first thing you have to write what is given okay so here it was given that the charge value is it is a negative charge so it should be written Minus three times ten to the power negative seven coulomb, right? So be careful whether it is a negative charge or it is a it's just a charge. Okay. So now this is the only one detail they given, and they want estimate the number of electrons transferred. Okay. So they want n, right? Just now we studied based on the quantization, Q is equal to n, right? So we have a value of Q. we need to calculate en 
we know the value of e already right so when i am doing n is equal to q over e right so n will be minus 3 times 10 to the power negative 7 divided by automatically the charge of electron is 1.6 times 10 to the power negative 19 right so it is negative because it is a electron right so be careful here it was mentioned number of electrons okay that's why i am putting negative here if it was mentioned calculate number of charges transferred here we will not use minus we will just take 1.6 times 10 to the power negative 